Welcome to my channel and welcome to my hobby blog. In the first minutes I will show you my new three colors of watercolors. I do love to purchase art supplies and I do love to purchase watercolors, but in the same time I know that I already have a lot of paints and I definitely don't need other colors, I need to learn better those paints which I already own. But I decided that as a reward for doing more watercolor colorings, I will be purchasing myself some new colors. And as a reward for September works, I have purchased three new colors. Two of them are by White Knights and one by Ukrainian manufacturer Rosa. Both these manufacturers recently created some new added some new paints to their palettes and I have selected colors which I considered interesting and I decided that each month if I am satisfied with my watercolor works if I do a lot of them then I will reward myself with purchasing new watercolor pens maybe it's strange but I hope that it will work for me and I will be using more watercolors so from Ukrainian manufacturer rolls I selected to purchase opera rolls because I definitely needed a very bright pink color and I have already used this paint when I did my pink dahlias. Opera rose isn't light fast but it doesn't matter for me but I do love this pink color. From a white nights my most wanted color is this dune and I wanted it for a long time but wasn't able to find in my local art store and finally I purchased it and I think that it will be perfect for coloring stone walls. And third color which I selected is this excessively bright May green but I learned from the side of the paints manufacturer that it will be great in mixes so I need some experimenting and I definitely will try to mix this May green with other colors. I think that my favorite color is Dune and I can't wait to start using it. I have already some pictures with stones, with castles in my mind, so I hope that you will see these paints more in my future colorings. Now let's talk about Halloween pictures. And I have found two wonderful freebie pictures. Picture of the first witch is by Chintaka Harris and you can get it by subscribing to the site of Vivid Publishers. In return they will mail you this beautiful witch. As usual all the links will be down in the info box. I do intend to print this one and to color for this Halloween. The second witch is even more adorable and it's by Maud Lamoire. It's a French illustrator which I have recently discovered. Her pictures are absolutely amazing. In order to get this witch and cat you need to go to the Maud website and to subscribe to the newsletter. And during the next 24 hours I got my picture on my email address. Site is in French, but I hope that you will manage. Because image is amazing and also Maud recently announced her new coloring book. And in the end of this video I decided to put some pictures and small videos again from Kiev Quest. I have already made several videos about these small sculptures which are situated in various places in the central part of Kyiv and in which we can find some interesting moments from the history of Kyiv. The first sculpture for today is called Kyiv Balcony. During Soviet time flats of all citizens were quite small 
and usually they have small balconies and people tried to get some additional space and used those balconies for storing various things. People stored their winter things, children's bicycles, children's perambulators, grandmothers tried to put their, their canned goods or other foods so on the balconies you can find a variety of things and maybe it's not very attractive to look at but it was very helpful when families lived in one flat flats were small so balcony definitely was very helpful the next one is called kiev elephant in 1930s in central parts of kiev there were a lot of fountains but this Kiev elephant was the most famous of them all. It was a real gem. It had 6 meter water jet from the elephant trunk. And of course it was very popular. And also construction was very sturdy. So it was one of the few things in the central part of Kiev which survived very severe bombing after the World War II. And this fountain continued to live in the center of Kyiv until the 1970s. So unfortunately now we don't have this fountain, but at least we have this tiny copy as a remembrance of this great artwork. In the previous videos I have mentioned that each of the mini sculptures has its own motto and I tried to put them beneath the name of the sculpture, what you get if you wrap the sculpture, and I found that it's very adorable and it's very fun to look at all those mottos. And let's continue to the next mini sculpture. I don't remember, maybe I have already shown you this Kiev coffee, but still, the history of drinking coffee dated back to 10th century during the time of Kievan Rus to the time of the great prince Vladimir. And the first coffee arrived to Kiev through the Arabian merchants in the end of the 18th century, in 19th century, a lot of uh, coffee shops, a lot of confectionaries were opened in Kiev and they served coffee. The most famous one was called Semadeni by the name of the owner. And fun thing is that when in 1885 the first telephone station was opened in Kiev. Semadeni purchased for his confectionery telephone number one. So to book table at his confectionery you just had to dial one and it was very convenient. The next one is Watch of Pierre Brouillon and in Kiev we have one of the oldest universities in Europe. It's called University of Kiev Mahila. In 18th century there were a French teacher of math by the name of Pierre Brouillon and he invented two sundials, sundial watches. One of them is situated in the yard of Kiev Mahila Academy and the other one in, on one of the central marketplaces on Kiev. They were quite popular and apart from actually being sundials watches, they also helped students to learn math. At least this watch, both of them we still have in Kyiv, so apart from this tiny sculpture, you can also go and to look at the real one. The next one is Kiev candied fruit and tradition of making candied fruits. Translucent slices of various fruits 
first boiled in sugar syrup then dried off and again covered with sugar first was mentioned in uh, 14th century but started to be produced in industrial size in the end of 18th century they were quite popular in Kyiv. There were several manufacturers who tried to improve technology and they have imported their candied fruits to all nearest countries. Unfortunately, for some time technology was lost and only now it was renowned, so now you also can taste these beautiful sweets in, if you visit Kyiv. And I do love them, they are quite nice. The next sculpture is dedicated to Mikhail Afanasyevich Bulgakov, who is considered one of the best writers in the history of Russian literature. He was born in 1891 in Kyiv and he died in 1940. He is best known for his novel A Master and Margarita. Bulgakov was born in Kyiv. Here he went to a medical university and got diploma of doctor. In the earliest years of his life he practiced as doctor and only then switched to writing. His most famous novel Master and Margarita is considered masterpiece because it's a very interesting retelling of the New Testament from Bulgakov points of view. Also, it's a story which takes part in Moscow during Soviet time, so it has a lot of criticism of Soviet time, a lot of philosophy moments, but for me, most of all, it's a great love story, a very touching story and definitely one of my favorite books. But I would say that Bulgakov is one of my favorite writers, not only because of Master and Margarita, but because of his earlier books. And many of them take part in Kyiv and all his books about Kyiv are full of love to his city and to my city. So these books are about love to Kyiv. Well, I am glad that I have finally made this video because many of these sculptures I have uh, filmed during summer, so everything is still green around and I was thinking that it's time to publish it because <laughs> obviously it will be strange to show green places during the fall season. So it was my hunt for Kiev quest during summertime, but of course I will continue it, so there will be next videos.